Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a fourth year law student on the exemption degree and I'm going to take you for a show round in the Northumbria building today. Come on in. Okay, this is the foyer, so this is where everyone waits for lectures. We've got three lecture theatres here, so I'll take it the biggest one because that's the best. Um, generally, people just chit chat around here, hang out. We've got comfy chairs, vending machines, anything you can ask for whilst you're waiting for a lecture. Outside, it's got the interactive screens. It'll tell you what's going to go on in there now, and it'll also tell you what's going on there next, so you'll never be confused as to where your lecture is. Okay, so this is our biggest lecture theatre. It seats about 400 people. Um, this is really good at Northumbria in the new building because we've got an interactive system in lectures. So basically, the lecturer can put up on the big screen whatever question, and you all start with a who wants to be a millionaire style remote, and you answer the question pointed at the screen A, B, C, or D. Right, so that's the lecture theatre. I'm done messing about in here. I'll show you the cafeteria. So once again, back into the main bit, um, it must be said we share this bit with the business school, so the law school's on the first and third floor, and business on the second and fourth floor. Um, so when we go into the cafeteria, you'll see it's absolutely massive, and often in lectures all day you get really hungry, they feed you up a treat here. All along the sides as well, you'll see seminar rooms. We have seminars on this floor, second floor. No, we don't. We have on this floor, first floor and fourth floor. So the cafeteria has everything you can ask for. We've got a Starbucks, a deli for sandwiches, and through there we've got hot food that gets made every day. They do breakfast, dinner and lunch. Uh, as you can see, it is absolutely massive. And they're really into recycling, so we've got the different bins for when you finish your food. You just finish, pop them up, down, and off you go. Have fun with your friends before your next lecture. Sometimes I cycle into uni and sometimes go to the gym before university. Um, got to keep fit these days. And often you can get a bit sweaty. This law school literally has everything you ask for. Because when I get here and I'm sweaty, I can even have my very own shower. You're in luck, next I'm going to show you Northumbria Student Law Office. It's award winning, I work in there at the moment, it's a fourth year. And if you know anything about the degree, you know that on the fourth year, we actually have real clients. So what we do is we offer free legal advice to the community. They come in with any sort of problem, it can be anything from employment to businesses in the area. Um, and we can represent them literally on anything. It can be going to court for them, representing them just in tribunals, or even just giving them advice, which is half the time what they need. Um, as I take you in, you'll see there's absolutely tons of computers because research is key when having clients about. Um, everything in here is confidential and when you come here you'll see that it's actually a really key element of a lawyering skill to be able to keep the confidentiality of the client. We have a set of filing system to make sure everything works out like that and really well and we have some great administrators that help us out. We're working groups of about seven and then on top of that we have a supervisor solicitor who works above us, gives us advice, checks all of our work before it will go out to a client. As you can see everyone's beavering away and the size of it is just huge. Um, it's part of the student law office as well. You'll see here Owen Mitchell is a big um, employer in the area, huge law firm and they sponsor the student law office in a scholarship they set up. People have been from anywhere to Australia. Luckily I went it this year and I went to New York, which was fantastic. And you go and see other student law offices abroad and pro, pro bono work in the community. Okay, so this is the undergraduate hub. This is where we come when we do work. As you can see, there's lots of computers and sometimes you don't want the library all silent and you do want to be able to talk about, with your friends about what's going on. You'll see the design of it is actually made so that you can set out your books and everything with plenty of space to work. In the far corner we've got where we just chill out, there's bean bags, there's places where we can drink coffee, have a sandwich, talk to each other and still be able to discuss assignments. Some work that we do here is actually teamwork and it's best to be able to talk to each other about seminars and things like that. 
There is absolutely tons of computers here, so you never run out of space, and you can always get online if you need to check emails or anything like that, just in a rush. We'll go through the library now. Um, I have to be quiet. But um, the library's really good here. This is actually our law practice library. It's not the main library. So the things we have here is, because of the way our degree works, we do practical elements. That involves a lot of drafting and things. So if you had a house, you were buying a house, you'd have to draft out contracts. The books that they're keeping here are just examples of those. So it works for the practical element of your degree and the theory element of your degree will be over in the main library. Um, as you'll see, there's lots of the old law books, which is always fun to see and makes you feel like you're part of that traditional law course. So I'll take you on through. Okay, I'll keep quiet because everyone's working. But as you can see, this is the silent zone. So when people need to work in absolute silence, that's where they'll go. Through here is where you see all the books and the computers and everyone's working. It's not as silent, but it's called a quiet study area. So you've really got different places to go in the university depending on how you learn. I personally need absolutely silence when I'm trying to read cases because sometimes it can be a bit maddening with the old language. So yeah. Welcome to the library. Right, so we'll go on through. So this is what I was talking about. Everyone should be even away on computers. Um, lots of space for the books. You can see here all old-fashioned English reports, which is part of the fun of coming to the law school. Everyone just chills out here. It's a really relaxed atmosphere. And it's sometimes what you need apart from the silent zone. I don't really know what else to say about the library. It's got books and students. One of the most fantastic things about coming to Northumbria Law School is the courtroom. The furniture in here was actually donated by DFS. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it's from a magistrate's court in Bedlington. Um, so you'll see as we go in, it's really authentic furniture. In our old school, we also had the courtroom, and it's all been restored and brought over to this brand new state-of-the-art building. As you can see, lots of mahogany, just as an old courtroom is. And this is where we keep the overflow of all the like, case files. Um, part of being in here is actually being able to work on your advocacy skills. And if you want to do the BBC route, this is where you come and practice your mooting and some of your advocacy exams. You can see we've actually got the coat of arms from that actual magistrates as well, which is fantastic, and the old-fashioned seats, which is always good to play in. So we'll come in here, put on the wigs and gowns, and actually get assessed on real life work. So it feels good because you get that experience of what a, lawyer's be, like, what a lawyer is. I enjoy it here because I get involved with the mooting as well. We have a lot of competitions here, and this courtroom's a fantastic setting. We even have the jury box for the jury to sit in, and it's all part of the fun. Um, this courtroom's actually been used a lot as well on TV. People like to get the real-life setting of a courtroom, and here it is. Um, the good thing about this courtroom is, yeah, it's got the old-fashioned element to it, but it's got the same state-of-the-art technology that the courts do at the quayside in Newcastle. So as you can see, we've got the giant plasma screen TV, which will put up all the different dates that we need, things like that. And also, if you're just in here during lessons, they'll also put news articles up as well, things that are going on in Parliament, things that law students need to keep up to date about, really. So behind you is the witness box, which is always fun. Added on top of that, there's cameras in here as well and you can record what you do, work on it, look back, reflect on how it's gone, everything like that. So yeah, this is the courtroom. Okay, so this is one of the skills rooms here at Northumbria. As I've said, it's a really practical degree. So we do get assessed on the smallest things, even on interviewing a client. In your third year, you'll have an actor come in who'll pretend to be your client, and you'll sit and you'll interview him in here. The good thing about this room is it's all interactive as well, so it's get, it gets filmed, and you can see the lights over here. They'll tell you when to start, stop, go, everything. Um, this room's also free during the day as well, most times as well, so if you just want that little bit of quiet time to come in here, read over your work, do anything really, you can come in here and enjoy yourself. 
So a lawyer's main tool is evidence. So here at Northumbria, they've set up the evidence booth. Here you can watch anything, whether it's videotapes or DVDs, a client interview with the police, something like that, that you need to look over, make sure everything's been okay, and then you can get do any advice for the client. This is one of our seminar rooms. Here at Northumbria, the course is made up of lectures and seminars. So in your lectures, you get taught the main points of law to about 300 people who will be on your year. But that's not enough for some people. So then you have seminars every week on the same lesson. Um, it'll be about 16 students, as you can see, in this type of room. And you'll be broken down into little groups and you'll be able to discuss the law, interpret it, and you've just got that support mechanism then. Um, Northumbria offers a lot of different choices depending on your learning skill. I learn by talking to people, as you can tell I love to talk, but um, some people just like to work on their own and that's fine too, nothing will support you in that. Um, so yeah, this is the seminar room, behind me is where the seminar tutor would stand, you've got the whiteboard, interactive again with a projector on the ceiling, so sometimes for a, a seminar your preparation would be making a PowerPoint presentation on a certain point of law. You'll do your PowerPoint presentation and you'll present it to your seminar group. And it's really good. I enjoy it. Okay, so that's Northumbria Law School. Thank you very much for hopping in. I hope you become a student here soon.